everyone. My name is uh, Wes Kasouf. I'm a professor of urology at McGill University Health Center and a urological oncologist, and as well the current uh, past chair of uh, Bladder Cancer Canada Scientific and Research Advisory Boards. It's a pleasure really to give the, some highlights uh, on uh, one of the sessions of a meeting that we just held a few days ago, the uh, Canadian Bladder Cancer Forum that was uh, co-chaired by Peter Black and Kala Sridhar. Um, this is a session, uh, basically gives an update on the Canadian Bladder Cancer Information System and quality of care indicators uh, that we've captured through that system. The session uh, was uh, chaired by myself and uh, Rob Siemens, who's a professor at uh, Queen's University. And essentially, we uh, gave a couple of presentations on the Canadian Bladder Cancer Information System, quality care indicators, and benchmarks uh, with regards to these indicators. So just a, a brief, this is a session that is sequelae of uh, three uh, national quality of care consensus meetings that uh, we've organized uh, and uh, pretty much supported fully by Bladder Cancer Canada and endorsed by the Canadian Urological Association and the Canadian Neuro-Oncology Group. So we, based on these uh, meetings, we've uh, established through a Delphi process 60 quality indicators uh, that spans all the phases of bladder cancer care and subsequently narrowed those down to 13 indicators that we would like to measure and capture. So just a brief thing about the bladder, bladder cancer information system. This is a unique uh, national uh, project that essentially is a prospective registry for bladder cancer patients across 14 uh, academic centers across Canada. And what it does, it captures all clinical data, pathological data, practice patterns, uh, outcomes. And the idea is uh, trying to assess this across the country to improve care in, uh, for bladder cancer patients. So this is a registry, so around roughly five years ago it started and it's been exponentially growing. Uh, as of January 2021, we have uh, around uh, 5,400 patients captured and uh, those patients are across all the spectrum. So non-muscle invasive disease, uh, muscle invasive disease, as well as metastatic bladder cancer patients. And uh, what we've done, uh, in this uh, in this strategy that makes it unique it's perspective so it's an ongoing capture as we go along so the data, the data tends to be a bit more comprehensive and uh, reliable so we first basically uh, evaluated you know those 13 indicators that uh, we decided to measure uh, the bladder cancer information system was able actually to capture and measure at least nine of them uh, across the 40 centers so we presented that in a session and uh, we found that uh, although we do well in some indicators, other indicators, we don't hit the benchmark. And what that does is uh, basically uh, provides a utility where the performance of each center can be reported and sent to that center. And uh, basically uh, at that center level, uh, there could be some uh, some uh, steps taken to address certain issues to, to at least hit certain benchmarks that we we all feel important to hit. Uh, so this session kind of created a, quite a bit of discussion. Uh, looking at the data, it was an eye opener uh, on things that we're doing very well, but also things that uh, have room for improvement. And uh, looking forward uh, to see what updates on these quality indicators based on each individual center, how progress is made and improvement made over time. So this, this is basically captures uh, highlights from the that session in the Canadian Bladder Cancer Forum. And uh, we're very much looking forward uh, to this forum, forum to grow uh, on an annual basis. It's an exciting uh, initiative and uh, fully supported by uh, all the communities who's got a uh, strong vested interest in bladder cancer patients and improvement of care. Thank you.